how's life? Great. Yeah, great? I'm doing really good. Is uh, it recording? Yeah. Yeah. Doing good. Modern bouldering is constantly evolving and I need the climbing shoes exactly for that. As you can obviously see, I'm here with a very special guest, Adam Ondra. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Great. And uh, actually, we should mention that we're here at the launch of the Ondra Comp. So first and foremost, how did this shoe all come about? Did you come up with the idea? Mm -hmm. Did La Sportiva approach you and wanted to make a shoe with you? Where did it all start? So I think uh, two years ago, we got to the conclusion that all the La Sportiva shoes were maybe always trying to be too universal. And maybe if you think of balance between smearing and edging, maybe they were mostly leaning towards more edging. So for example, even though in the most recent years we did Solution Comp, Theory, especially Theory is a shoe which is extremely soft, mm -hmm. but still constructed in a certain way that you really sustain this downturn aggressive shape, which works really well for the small edges, especially considering how extremely soft the shoe is. But for the smearing, let's say it's pretty good, but it's not the best it could possibly get. So I said La Sportiva, I think we should do something really specific. We should do the smearing and so-called smedging shoe. Smedging, I don't want to like boast about it, but what does a, it mean? Well, basically when we were working on a shoe, I would be always saying like, we need the perfect shoe for smearing and for tiny, little, slopey footholds. And I was kind of sick of always tr saying that. So I would come up, ah, why don't we just call it smedging? Because smedging. that's something in between edging and smearing. All right, so a whole new concept for an indoor climbing shoe. And it's called Comp, but who is it actually made for? Like only competition climbers? So basically it was designed with the intention to give my best possible performance on the bouldering competitions, mm -hmm. especially like in slabs and vertical walls. But I think in the end, I'm not the only one who needs this kind of shoe. Obviously, all the other competitors, the youngsters competing. But this kind of climbing, where it's mostly about smearing on the bigger volumes, it is the climbing style which doesn't really happen not only on my level, but basically in almost all the levels of climbing in the modern bouldering gyms. And who comes to the bouldering gyms nowadays? So many people. Everybody. It's new mecca. And I think, of course, climbing shoes are a lot down to your weight. So for me, being 70 kilos, Ondra Comp feels like a very soft shoe. So it works really well for me for this specific style of indoor bouldering. I would probably not take it for outdoor climbing okay. unless I would take it for maybe sandstone climbing where okay. it's mostly just like either smearing or very slopey tiny footholds. But even on sandstone, like you do want to smear and yeah. you need to yeah. smear, yeah. but then think... sometimes you just need that little edge. Yeah, exactly. exactly. And I think this is a great compromise. Obviously, mm. for a very tiny edges, there are better shoes, yes. but this is a great compromise with smearing and smudging performance. And if there is an edge, it still works really well. And let's talk about more like the features of the shoe specifically. I am guessing you had a lot of back and forth with La Sportiva and testing. What were the parts of the shoe that you really had to work on a lot and redefine? So mostly we were focusing on this part. So most of the Sportiva shoes were always sustaining this aggressive shape. Yes. If you think of smearing and smudging, uh, you need to have a shoe which in this part goes up at least a little bit because yes. if the volume is like this, you need to basically copy the angle of mm -hmm. it in order to have like a maximum point of con contact here. Of course. Smedging is very similar. Imagine a tiny but slopey foothold, which is maybe only 45 degree. Again, you have to copy the same angle. If you have a downturn shoe on a foothold like this, even though it's tiny, you will never maximize the point of surface and there is a high chance that it would slip. But how to make it work that if the foothold is small and there's a lot of weight onto very tiny surface, that's why it, it is designed in this, uh, like a horseshoe shape. Okay. So here inside, yeah. there is very thin layer of rubber, 
It and is there is like a soft. cushioning inside. Yeah. It's like a little pillow. So you can feel through everything. Okay. And the only harder part of the shoe is just below your toes. On the outside. That's right below uh, where you need it. So if you step on a tiny slopey foothold, yes, it does like this, but then this part has, gives you enough support so you are able to stand on a, such a tiny foothold. Really cool feature. Um, and what about the toe patch? They mentioned it's one of the shoe with the most rubber on the toe patch. Why was it important <laughs> to just cover it up? For toe hooking, it's really important, especially when it's like a slopey features, mm -hmm. to just maximize the point of contact and have the really sticky rubber. So that's what we did. And I think it's really good for the toe hooking because in general, whatever is really good for the smearing. And also there is an ability of your toes moving and straightening. That automatically is also really good for the toe hooking. So we were not really focusing on that specifically because yeah. I knew if we make a great smearing shoe, it's going to be amazing for toe hooking automatically. All right, so that wasn't, that didn't need to be a compromise. Yeah, I, we were like a little bit testing like where to put the rubber and mm -hmm. stuff to yeah. like... Uh, also where the rubber meets at certain points. Because yeah. I always yeah, think yeah. sometimes it can also like catch on exactly. the holes. Exactly. And that's ideal when you want to stop, but then when you want to unhook and it. And there is one special thing. The cushioning is not only here, but it's also here. Oh, right. Uh, so that serves as a protection because sometimes when you make like a toe hook catch, yeah. when the toe hook is like really big, but you land on it with a lot of force, mm -hmm. especially when you like try to go for a certain movement and you are not coordinated, it hurts. So this gives you like right. kind of extra protection. So you want to like commit and kick into it. So it's a, a little bit of padding just to yeah. protect your foot. And so you can also try to move over and over yeah. again. Yeah, yeah, ah. exactly. I definitely had a, quite a few bad experiences that I hit my foot like really bad while trying to toe hook. Like really, this. I gotta say really subtle, but definitely a good add on to yeah. an indoor climbing yeah. shoe. The, the heel out of the La Sportiva shoes is slightly more narrow and it's super sticky and, and soft from this side. I think it's a good compromise to make it work both on tiny footholds and also bigger volumes. I gotta say it's really soft and quite narrow because I have yeah. really narrow heels. So it's the yeah. first time actually holding something that's, uh, that's really quite narrow. I think compared to La Sportiva shoes, it's the most narrow one. Okay, and you're famous, gotta say really famous, for downsizing a lot your shoes. Mm -hmm. So I gotta ask, how much are you, are you downsizing these right now? So these right now, I still downsize four sizes, but four. it is different because most of the, it is definitely way more comfortable okay. compared to if you take Theory in mm -hmm. the same size. It is, it still has the P3, but it's less aggressive. And I'm pretty sure you will feel more, more comfortable. I think, I would like to also advertise this shoe as a more kind of healthier shoe for maybe youngsters. For the feet. Because I think there is a thing that if you climb with downturn and stiff shoe, especially when you're really young, you kind of tend to rely on the shoe itself and your toes are passive. Okay. This shoe is soft enough and I feel it's like naturally forcing you to use your toes more actively. Over the time, you develop more strength in your toes, which ultimately will lead into the fact that even if you go rock climbing and even if you want to have the ultimate edging performance, maybe then grabbing like an edging shoe will result you will not have to downside so much. All right. So this is actually something that's happening to me right now. You're downsizing I, less. I think. I think my toes are stronger okay. and I can climb half a size bigger in, let's say, solutions and I can feel I can have the same performance. And the same sensitivity, like you're not compromising that. Obviously, if, if we are talking about solutions, for example, more size gives you even more sensibility. Okay, yeah. It's just that before when my toes were weaker, I didn't mm -hmm. really think I could like really stand on a tiny foothold. But if you, if you get a little bit of activity of your toes, mm -hmm. it's possible. All right. Uh, any other things you would like to share about the shoe? Because I heard it's been a year and a half in the making. So I cannot imagine all the back and forth. <laughs> um, and you've worked closely with the La Sportiva team. That's I mean, something that... I mean, it's a big honor that La Sportiva decided to make a, sh a shoe named after me. Uh, it's still feels kind of weird to look at it and, and, and read my name. 
It's very, if you want signed shoes, just buy these. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's 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 a big honor, and I'm really happy that I convinced La Sportiva this this is the way to go, and that we will make a really specific shoe because I think this was the only segment that La Sportiva was still kind of missing, and now I think we really hit the target with with this shoe. And first of all, uh, I think for me it's not really a universal shoe because okay. it's so soft, but mm -hmm. I think if you're a youngster uh, and you weigh 40 kilos. I think you can basically use it for anything. I presented my two priorities. Standing on a big rounded volume while still be able to stand on tiny rounded footholds. After a period of development, we created the first prototype and we found the solution. Ondracom is the answer of La Sportiva and myself to the modern trends of climbing. I honestly want to thank you so much for taking yeah. your time to work with La Sportiva to create these. I can't wait to try them out. But for that, like and subscribe. Follow Adam Andre as well because you do some amazing climbing content, <laughs> I gotta say. So thank you so much. Thank you very much.